so many spices. I just want to sniff them all. Blech. Salt and pepper only for me. And now I get to finally try a steak recipe. When I was looking for these originally, I wanted one that kind of used balsamic vinegar to kind of give it a tangy taste. But I thought um, maybe instead of doing that, I could have something on the side with balsamic vinegar and then I could do a traditional steak recipe to not be too weird with the steaks. And so I actually found a good uh, Mediterranean side salad recipe. So I'll be making that first actually because that one's easier and I forgot to defrost the steaks yesterday. So they are still hard as a rock. So now I gotta let these sit out for a while so that I can actually get started with um, cooking them. But in the meantime, you can see all of our wide variety of seasonings here that'll go into it. This one is, since I forgot to say it in the beginning, this is another damn delicious recipe. And you know how I feel about damn delicious. They always make really, really awesome stuff. So um, before I forget, our total cost is $57.94 because Steaks are expensive. But anyway, they call this one the perfect steak with garlic butter. So the actual steaks are only going to be getting some, uh, some ground peppercorns and a little bit of salt to sear on the cast iron skillet there. But the butter itself is going to be getting all of these seasonings and it's going to be really good so let's go ahead and get started by uh, throwing everything away and actually i guess i'll see you all back here in a few hours because i gotta wait for this to defrost before i can get started so uh yeah luckily while that's defrosting we can make the butter because that should be prepared before the steaks are ready so I'm gonna start by getting this melted because I forgot to leave these out earlier too. So let me go ahead and take care of that. So this is pretty easy. All we do is add in our seasonings and then put it back in the fridge so that it can re-solidify and then we can use that to top our steak later. You can see we have a very, very long list of seasonings that are going into this. Once measured out, this is a, uh, a lot. So let's go ahead and mix everything together. Now that this is properly mixed, I'll put this in the fridge so it can re-solidify, and then we are ready to go until the steaks are done with frosting, whenever that is. So I will see you later on. So now that the steaks have sat out for a while, I can finally get started. So it wants us to set the oven on broil, and then put the skillet in there to warm it up. I don't really like broiling, so I put it to 450, which is more like a slow broil, so it doesn't dry it out too much. Next, we will pack dry our steak and then put our salt and pepper on, and then we are good to put it in the skillet. The ovens heat up, so I went ahead and took the skill out. Let's go ahead and get our steak going now. And 
And that is it for that. We now bake it in the oven for the, the uh, rest of the time. So let me... Uh, I have to guess what time I need to put it in for, so... See you soon. We did it. And with that, we can now put it all together. I got some toast here that I made, and then I got the salad for the side. But other than that, all we have to do is put some of the butter on top. So let's go ahead and put it all together. Well, the steaks are done. You can see it was a success. Don't ask me how done I made it. It's none of your business. But other than that, it smells really good. It looks really good. And I'm excited to try this out. So let me know if you change up anything and it works out for you. Thanks for watching. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what, these steaks are pretty easy to make and also really good. You can't go wrong with the uh, white person's favorite seasoning, salt and pepper. But anyway, the, uh, the garlic butter mix is really awesome, so I definitely say you should try that out. I don't suggest completely melting the butter because then most of the seasonings just settle down at the bottom and it creates this kind of weird potato-y consistency layer at the top. I don't know what was going on with that, but um, maybe just soften the butter next time and then you kind of manually mix in everything. But other than that, this one turned out really well. So um, to get it to bake the way you want it to, um, maybe you just kind of have to guess on how long to sear it in the pan and then how long to put it in the oven. So good luck.